the recognized symbol of excellence in sports entertainment. The World Wrestling Federation always delivers action and excitement, and all of us here at the Hershey Park Arena are proud to be a part of it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Superstars of Wrestling here at Ringside, the Vince McMahon, along with wrestling living legend Bruno San Martino, and of course, joining us is always Jesse the Body Ventura. And this week, do we ever have events for you? Unfortunately, however, Due to an edict from World Wrestling Federation President Jack Sonny, we are prohibited from publicly speaking of the events of just last night. But nonetheless, we will have... What are you talking wrong? about? You read the memo just like I did. Any official in the World Wrestling Federation, be they announcers, wrestlers, or referees of any kind, are prohibited at this moment of speaking of the events of last night. Nonetheless, I'm sure we'll have all kinds of World Wrestling Federation action. Let's get underway. Ravishing body and concentrate on that steamboat because he's going to have his hands full. 
Well, one thing's for sure, you never had to worry about a ravishing body when you wrestled, Bruno. Well, Rick Rude would love to have, be able to, after it's all over, say he has a record anywhere near comparable to that of Bruno San Martino. Hey, when Bruno wrestled, it was all them old timers. None of them old athletes can beat the athletes of today. Is that right? Yeah, take a look at any world record. Why do you think they get broken? Rick Rude attempting to establish a superiority. Rude is the classic example of modern training technique. Proper diet, vitamins, weight training, along with wrestling. Walking back up, standing side headlock, grinding it out here on the dragon a bit. Ravishing Rick Rude in control. And a very nice maneuver. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? What is going on here? Hercules and the King down at ringside? Why? Moral support. Moral support? They're a family. Rick Rude over the dragon. Off the rope again. Leap up by the dragon. Tremendous agility. And off and... What's this? To the rope again. Over. Right back now. It's the dragon. Going underneath and... One, body press. One, two, and... No, not quite. Arm drag takes down the dragon. And another one. Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, in control. Well, the one thing the Dragon does well, he gets in deep on that arm drag, he gets well underneath and forces the man. The man has to go over the top or lose a shoulder or arm. The capacity crowd, chanting almost in unison, Weasel, look at that. Oh, ah. Leg trip, nice with over elbow, follow through. The dragon all over ravishing Rick Rude. And if this continues, Mr. Rude's physique may not be so ravishing after the match. Well, Steamboat's doing a smart move here. He's trying to take away something on Rude, and he's trying to take the arm away from him. He's also not being affected by what he is trying to do by bringing those two to the side, the, the King and Hercules, to intimidate Steamboat. But he's paying no attention. He's doing his job in the ring, and look at him go. Yes, look at that. Missing with the right hand, and another arm drag takes out. So the psychology thus far employed by Bobby the Brain Heenan is not working. Indeed, the presence of the King and Hercules Hernandez apparently has no effect on the performance of the Dragon. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, my. That's but Rick Rude might have an effect on the performance of the Dragon. Oh, ah, is he ever right now? Rick Rude hammering away on Ricky Steamboat. Scoops him up now. And slams him down to the canvas with authority. Following through with the forearm, I believe, to the throat area. On the account of one. Bobby Heenan wanting a little faster count as the dragon whipped off the rope. Put the brakes on. Well, he caught Rude there. Rude made a mistake. He dropped his head. Didn't watch the dragon. He allowed the dragon to slip into that neck breaker real quick off the ropes. Both men back to their feet. Roundhouse misses, elbow to the mid, look at that, yes indeed. And I think Rude wants time out here, he's backing off. Rick Rude, two who oh his face may never be the same. <laughs> the body might be all right, but the head will suffer. There's only one wrestler I know who would enjoy that move. George the Animal Steel. The Dragon on the top rope. Rude stand, he spins around. Right across the top. Wait a minute. Hercules is on the apron. Get him down from there. The Dragon with another chop. Harley Race grabbing the ankle of Ricky Steamboat. Ah. And his back was turned. disqualification you know what i'll bet i'll bet steamboat planned this out that if he got in trouble he wanted the ultimate warrior to get out here that wasn't steamboat in trouble it was ravishing rick rude in a lot of trouble and right now pandemonium is breaking loose oh my the ultimate warrior down to the canvas come on ralph get control here He's mere 
present has been run from the ring. No, it's not his presence, it's that board he's carrying. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the referee's official decision. As a result of outside interference, he has ruled this contest a double disqualification. Oh, wow. A double disqualification. Now, how in the world can a referee make that kind of decision when it was the ultimate warrior that threw race into the ring? But it was race that tripped Steamboat. Or did you see that? The yes, referee did. didn't see it. Let's, Let's go back now and pick up the replay. Now, look at this very clearly. Look at, look at race. And here he is stepping up. Steamboat. Yeah, and the ref didn't see it. Hey, regardless, he did so. It's a dead... Already, what are you talking about? Hernandez was already in the ring. And take a look at that. Hacksaw Jim Duggan on the way to the ring. And the Hacksaw sends men scurrying, headed for cover, the whole heathen family. Here now, ladies and gentlemen, Craig the Jarrett with a special update on WrestleMania 4.